I started with Tower of Power. It's funny, it had, I had been in a Regina Bell's band, it was with BB and CC, and it had nothing to do with any person I met in the music business. A friend from Georgia knew someone who knew someone from Tower of Power, said that they were looking for a singer. I learned a couple of songs, flew out to California. I, there were a bunch of singers, so I didn't think I had a shot at getting it. Got the gig, and it changed the tra trajectory of my life. It was, um, I was thrown into the fire, I, I learned the songs. I was doing the sold out album at the same time I was learning the songs. We did a couple of rehearsals and Emilio was like, okay, you're going on, you know, so <laughs> with all, you know, with that huge catalog of music. First night, Greeley, Colorado, it's like two miles in the air, I almost passed out, but um, that was the beginning, kind of the beginning of the journey. Six years, three CDs with Tower Power. Well, we spent quite a bit of time in Europe, all over the United States, we, uh, Japan several times, um, and since I've left, now they've gone to Australia and, uh, uh, and China. I never got to go there with them. I, you know, I'd, and I'd always wanted to travel, so, and heck, before my first gig, I was singing on a cruise ship. I worked right up there at Covenant House, and I got a gig as, I was uh, doing social work, got a gig as a singer on a cruise ship, and I, that's when I started traveling. I'm from Harlem, but traveling around with Tower Power is a bit different because other gigs you can you can do the gig, and afterwards you can hang out and play. Tower Power is work. You have to you know you have to be prepared the next day. So pretty much after every show, all I could do was go back to my room and go to sleep and get ready for the next day. And also, they do five six nights in a row, two shows a night, and that it's very high music, and you have the horns behind you, so you have to be prepared. I was just like around 2000, I had done three CDs, and it was just time to move on. I uh, came back to New York, started doing some stuff, did Broadway, did a Broadway musical with uh, Maurice White from Earth, Wind & Fire. He decided to do a musical with his music and um, hired me to sing the songs, most of them anyway. So I wound up doing a show called Hot Feet. And uh, I'm in a band in New York, a, a corporate band, you know, that keeps me busy. And, um, you know, between that and jingles, you know, just being a working musician. And then I was also doing a band with a friend of mine named Fred Vig, who's in Average White Band. Of course, those guys are friends of mine for years because we used to tour with them all the time. In 2011, the lead singer was leaving to work with Hall & Oates. So Fred called me and asked me if I wouldn't mind filling in for about three months, maybe three or four months until he found someone else. And that was 2011, so <laughs> I still managed to be in the band. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they found someone over this break, but you know, that's, that's uh, what I've been doing the last few years. Yeah, we're here and, and all of a sudden, um, in I guess it was around January, everything is canceled. Um, everything stops. A very good friend of mine, Michelangelo, we work together, we hang out, very close friends. And I know he works, and all the musicians that are here today are people I've worked with over the years. Um, some of them, I hate, it's funny, I feel old when I say I've known these people 30 years. But, you know, it's a bunch of great musicians and um, we have a great thing going here, you know, um, having people get together and do live music, and it, you know, because that's what we do. A lot of people just are, are studio people. These are all live music guys. And um, just came up, um, sent, sent a song list to the guys, and <laughs> let's just call it out and do it. You know, these are real musicians, you know. 
So there's mistakes here and there, but it's all good though. It's live music and this is a great platform. It's a beautiful place. I also want to do the rooftop when it gets warm again. But yeah, it's great to just, um, you know, keep live music going. The funny thing is that all of these guys, you know, they're traveling around the world making a lot of money and everybody was just like, no, let's do it. You know, everyone wants to make music and just have a good time. So we appreciate this. You know, a lot of guys are living on unemployment. Um, I haven't had a day job in 30 years. And I went out and got a job after this. Well, I was sitting home for three months. And um, it just didn't work for me. So I um, spoke to a buddy of mine. He said, I know someone who works for Amazon. I'm like, Amazon? I go, what the heck? So, and I feel like, <laughs> you know, I worked before so I can work here. And I can't go back out and start, you know, do eight interviews and then get a job because I know I'm leaving soon. You know, I'm only going to, you know, we'll be back to work in February. So, you know, I've been working, but, you know, it's been tough on a lot of musicians. Very depressing. You know, we're used to making music all the time, you know, at least two, three gigs a week. Michelangelo does five gigs a week. So it's, it's been tough not, you know, not working, but um, today was a great day. Mike, come here. Stand on the other side. Hello. He's actually been doing Hello. some gigs. He's been doing a few gigs while it, um, you know, maybe once a month? Well, it was once a week, but now it's once a month. <laughs> right, right. So it's been tough for all of us. It's, it's been tough. But I called him, called him. and um, he said, you know, put the band together, Brent Carter and friends, and it's all guys that we all work together. But um, he's like in the band with these guys. That's why he can say one, two, three, bang, and they do it. I say one, two, three, and they just keep on going, doing what <laughs> whatever they feel like doing. It happens. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's been tough, but we're, you know, we're, we're all going to be back to work real soon. We're, gonna, we're coming to Portuguese. To Portugal. Portugal. Portuguese. <laughs> so. Brazil. Right, that'll be, that'll be great. And you know, the funny thing is, no matter what I found out years ago, what I always tell young musicians too, I don't care what gig you do. If you're singing in the subway, if someone hires you to do a gig, you show up, you get there and do the gig, someone's going to see it somewhere and you're going to get some work from it. So. Just being out there and having people see you, you are going to get some work. People are gonna, you know, someone's gonna see it. I was singing at a wedding and I wound up doing jingles from a wedding gig. Um, Tower good, Power gig. Good. Yeah, the, the Tower Power gig I got just from someone that I know. So, you know, it's, it's a great platform. I liked it. Yeah. We had a good, it was on the fly, I but got, yeah, that's I what got, we do. I got empanadas. <laughs> He's crazy. People were dancing. Why did I ask you to come over here? Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mike. But yeah, it's a great platform. And you know, we're out here, people can see us, you know, and see me with my friends too, because I don't get a chance to work with them that much. My crazy friends. Thank you. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. All right. Happy holidays to you as well. <laughs>